All right, so a company named Sandmark reached out to me because they wanted me to review one of their products. It's a macro lens. And the reason why they reached out to me was because I actually record using an iPhone. If you guys don't know, look in the description. I record using the SE. Originally, it was the iPhone 6S. Then I moved over to my personal phone, the X, and now I have the SE2 2020 edition. Anyway, um, this is their macro lens. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of it because I've actually never used a contraption like this before, and I just want to see what it has to offer and just see if it's a good buy for you guys. So looking on the outside packaging, the best thing so far that I've seen is uh, designed in California. It's not made by Apple though. Um, but, oh, it does have Apple on here. iPhone is a trademark of Apple Incorporation. Uh, anyway, 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 let's go ahead into the unboxing. So I don't know what to expect. So we have a little pouch and oh we have a nice case okay cool so i guess one of the reasons why is because we have to attach the lens up here using this case but overall i like the feel of this case it feels really um it's really slim <sighs> all right next up let's look into this pouch Ooh, it's pretty cool honestly i know nothing about like lenses and stuff i just i just hit the record button on the iphone and call it a day uh, so, oh, we get a cleaning cloth. I love that. I love cleaning cloths. I have at least, at least 50 in my apartment. It even has Sandmark on here. Nice, nice. Gonna wipe off the glasses real quick. Um, no instruction manual, I don't believe. This is recyclable. Nice. So this is what comes in the box. I have to say it's, uh, it's pretty... Pretty minimal. Um, I don't know what this is. Is this like for what I put my potato chips on? Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my iPhone 10 and then show you guys, I guess, attaching the lens to my iPhone SE. So gonna do that real quick. All right, so here is what I use for the channel, guys. If you didn't know, I don't use any professional camera. I just use the iPhone SE, nothing special. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the phone. And uh, I've got to say, it feels really good in the hand. I actually really like the design of this case. Um, I know it's used for this lens, but I might just rock this case because this black and red, I was trying to get away from this uh, color tone, but I like it, I like it. So I guess what's next is I have to take off this bottom piece here, and then I have to screw it in here like so pretty easy and then this cap right here is also pretend excuse me protecting the top lens oh ho, 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 ho. we have the number three written on here I don't know what that means but um, wow this is a <laughs> this thing is massive um, I'm not sure if I need to do anything else um, let me go ahead and open up the camera app real quick um, it's definitely blurry. Do I have to get even closer? Whoa, I have to get super close. Oh my goodness. This is, I can see each individual cell moving across the vessels. This is incredible. Wait. Wow. Okay, so another thing that I um, watched online is that I have to attach this on here. So what this is, it pretty much gauges the distance that you need to be for when you're taking a picture of your object. But wow, this is crisp. Oh my goodness. Wait, where's my Zelda logo? Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Okay, so what I'm gonna what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go outside and take a couple uh, of macro lens shots. Oh my goodness, this is crazy! This is insane. It's so good. Let me look at the photo. Oh my god, we're going outside. We're going outside. All right, so I spent some time with the Sandmark macro lens, and like I said before, this is the camera that I use primarily on this channel. It's the iPhone SE, and I'm just going to go through all these items on this table and give my thoughts on them. But overall, I think this product is really good. So Sandmark is a company that specializes in making special lenses for the iPhone. 
And the one they sent out to me was the macro lens. And as we see in the growing trend of smartphones, specifically in the Android market, macro lens seems to be a highly sought off feature that people want. But I mean, I don't really use macro lens all that much, probably because I don't have one. What Sandmark did was they sent me out a macro lens for the iPhone. They have the entire catalog, I think from like the iPhone 5 all the way up to the 11 Pro Max. And starting off with the lens, this is probably what makes this cost a decent amount of money. Um, the entire kit is, I think, uh, $80 or $90. And this lens is impressive. I think you guys probably saw in my unboxing or first impressions when I put this on and I saw how amazing it looked. It looked really good. And so then I immediately went outside. I started taking videos, photos, and I was thoroughly impressed with this lens. I mean, I didn't know that a simple add-on like this would enhance my iPhone camera that this much. Um, I think I said this was like a clip for potato chip bags, but um, this is something that you can use if you don't want to use the case and your camera lens is still available. You can just clip this on top of it and then screw the lens on top. So that's something that's really nice that they are offering you. So you can go with their case, attach the lens directly, or you can use this mechanism to attach the lens through there. Uh, this is the case itself. I really like the feel of it. It feels really premium in the hand. It's like plasticky, but at the same time, not. It's like a little bit more dense. I don't know what material this is. I try to find it online, but it feels really high quality. And I, I'm honestly just gonna rock this as a regular case. And then this is what you use on top of the lens. And this pretty much gauge, gauges how close you should get to the object to get the optimal photo or video that you're trying to take. So all in all, and they give you a cleaning lens as well. All in all, this is $90. They don't give you the stand. This is Anchor, by the way. But overall, I'm thoroughly satisfied with this product. I, I don't know too many other macro lens iPhone edition companies are that are out there. The next thing I wanna talk about is some of the shots and videos I took outside. And I was just blown away by the amount of detail I could get in the photos and videos that I was shooting. So I'm going to show you guys a catalog of what I took and hopefully you guys enjoy. So the question I have to answer is, do you gotta have it? And it really just depends on if you want a macro lens and you have an iPhone. Because I mean, if you already have an Android phone that has a macro lens, that one's probably gonna be suffice or good enough for you for what you're trying to do. But if you're on the iPhone and you don't have that macro lens option and you want to take macro shots and videos, go ahead, I would say try this product out. I think it takes pretty good high quality photos and videos. But if you're a person who looks at Android phones and see that they have macro lenses and you want one as well, but you're stuck on the iPhone, the Apple ecosystem, I don't think that you should go out of your way and buy this product. But with all that being said, I think this is a pretty good product. If you did like the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you wanna see more content. And as always guys, much love. This case is really good. I don't even care if there's a hump right here. I'm gonna rock this case. And it's like black, red, black. It's perfect. Perfect color scheme, it's cool, I like it.